Nearly 30,000 runners are taking part in the Boston Marathon today. And as they hit the 26.2 mile course, the city and the world are remembering the Boston Marathon bombings, which took place 10 years ago this past Saturday. Two bombs exploded near the finish line in the terror attack. Three people were killed on that horrific day and nearly 300 were hurt. Over the weekend, the city honored the victims and the survivors in a ceremony attended by hundreds of people, including first responders. They walked to memorial sites near the finish line and laid wreaths. I want to bring in Ed Davis now. He was Boston's police commissioner 10 years ago when the bombs went off, and he served at that post from 2006 to 2013. Thanks so much for joining us today. You know, uh, time is a funny thing. Uh, 10 years can feel like a lifetime ago or it can pass in the blink of an eye. I'm wondering how you are feeling now, what memories come rushing back after 10 years. Well, good morning, Emory. It has been a very poignant weekend. Uh, we spent a lot of time speaking to victims and some of our partners who uh, were involved 10 years ago. And, and it is it is weird that it feels like a long time to the victims and, and the people who've had to suffer, people with prostheses and and, and, and and psychological trauma that's affected many, many more people. Um, but at the same time, it feels like it was yesterday, uh, especially seeing everyone again. Uh, it's sort of all those feelings came rushing back. I've had a number of police officers call me uh, really emotionally upset uh, about what they went through 10 years ago. So this still resonates. That's really that's really interesting, but not surprising at all. Um, let us talk about the lessons learned. What lessons were learned about the response to a mass casualty event like the one that happened in Boston? Well, each one of these events that happens, we learn more. I remember going to uh, Scotland Yard right after the tube bombing. Sir Ian Blair said to me that if it wasn't for video, they would never have solved that case. Mm. And that was true in our case, too. So technology is playing an important role. Uh, I spoke to two of my FBI partners yesterday about the importance of things like um, not only video uh, collection and things like facial recognition, which have improved greatly over the last 10 years. But you know, cell phone cell phone exploitation, which the F FBI does very very well. So we learned lessons about effectively pursuing terrorists and other people that would do terrible things like this. Mm -hmm. But then there's the the trauma part of it. Um, you know, having enough psychological services for the victims and for the first responders who are at the scene. Um, it, things like staying with people and, and supporting them, like uh, Mayor Menino did so effectively in, in Boston Strong, um, and, and, and providing them the support that they need over the decades that, that follow. This never goes away for them. This is part of their life. We can all move away from it, uh, but but for some people, they just can't. Yeah, and a as you know, sort of topping the news today are two mass shootings that happened over the weekend. Since the Boston Marathon, we had sort of the, the largest mass shooting in this country in, in, in Las Vegas. You know, what's your take on this? You know, you have made it your life's work to keep people safe. What, are we safer now or not than we were 10 years ago? That, that's a great question. We're more sophisticated now than we were. Uh, these incidents that have occurred over and over again. I was in Las Vegas the night of the shooting and a good friend of mine and his wife were in the hotel. So I was talking to them while the SWAT team was checking the hotel out. These are terrible things that are happening in the society. And tragically, we're not doing anything to stop it. Um, th there's, there's debate on both sides, but the truth of the matter is we can't seem to get our act together to save our own children. It, it, it is horrifying. It is. Uh, Ed Davis, though, thank you so much for taking some time uh, to talk to us. What are you going to be doing today? I'll be down at the uh, finish line uh, meeting with uh, a number of police officials, actually, who are in from all over the country. Uh, but it's been a it's been a reunion of sorts uh, around this terrible uh, uh, anniversary. All right. Well, thank you so much, sir. Thank you.